Hello and welcome everyone. So in today's session, as you can see, we are talking about vocabulary and that's reflection of the word fairy. Now, this is a word that we, I have seen that most of us keep on using it and at a redundant use. Like we don't need it, but still we put, oh, very exhausting, very tired, very knackered. So everywhere, very, 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 even very tired of like so much use of it. So we need to enhance our word power and for that, we need to replace this word with an appropriate word to make it sound better. Whatever you say should sound better. Okay, so today we are going to replace this word and we are going to work on it. This word needs rest. Okay, let's start and I'll show you what are we going to learn today. So the very first frame that comes is very bad. So if you see something like this, you would say, oh, messy. Right? But messy is in terms of something that's not uh, organized. Okay, so that way it is messy. But something that's very bad, if I say this is very bad situation, I would say awful. I can also say pathetic. I can also say pathetic, but I it's a better word, it's awful. Very bad can also take up, very bad can also take up atrocious. I'm sorry, C-I-O-U-S, atrocious. So awful, atrocious or pathetic can be for very bad. So now instead of saying this, the room was in a very bad state, we would say the room was in an awful state, awful state. Or you can say it was in an atrocious state was in a pathetic state okay but please drop using very now okay the next word that we have for today is very big now as you can see the building the moment you say oh it's such a big building you either say such a bill big or you say so big or you say very big so now instead of such a big so big or very big we are going to use massive or huge okay massive or huge. you can also say giant okay but this building is not giant okay it is huge it's massive so example quoted here I have taken is that building is very big or that building is massive okay so in C when you listen to it the see the second sentence automatically sounds better these words when you drop very these words beautify your sentences that building is very big that building is massive okay so the words itself the word itself gives a uh, proper meaning appropriate meaning and better expression to it okay all right let's move to the next one and the next one we have is very angry now maybe the colleagues have done or not done or accomplished a task and the manager or the person here is very angry at them okay the moment i say very angry at them or very angry with them instead of very angry you should be saying furious and mark my words this is way better than very angry you should say furious and not say very i'm very angry with you know i'm upset I'm angry. See, if you want to say angry, say just angry. You don't say very angry. Okay? Now, the example says the manager was very angry at the meeting yesterday. No. The manager was furious at the meeting yesterday. The manager was furious at us. Okay? At the meeting yesterday. So this word is a better word and please start using this word. Okay? If you have to use it start using it let's move on to the next one and the next one for the day is very boring uh oh and boring it is like it is just like this when you go for do for an assignment or you are for you're set for a lecture the lecture goes boring for you and you say oh my goodness the teacher or the lecture is boring it's very boring or it was very boring so now instead of saying very boring that i slept you would be saying dull or monotonous now this word may not be 
uh, I would say alien or may not be unknown for many of you because uh, monotonous nowadays is being used a lot okay it's not a word that is that is not used by people it is used by a lot of people nowadays it's a common word these days okay so you can also put it into use so that it becomes way easier for you so the example i've taken is the entire day was very boring at work or the entire day was monotonous at work so now see the moment i say monotonous at work that's that makes me uh, sound confident that makes my sentence beautiful and and it gives some sort of uh, jerk to my statement and i feel good and the person who listens feels good though maybe i don't know whether he would she would understand or not but as i said monotonous is not that uncommon okay so instead of very boring dull or monotonous and let's go ahead. so now don't say it was a boring day it was a dull day or day was dull for me today was dull okay start using these words guys why am i emphasizing again again because i want you to have proper vocabulary let's move on to the next one the next one is very good now this phrase is really common that you people use and now instead of very good we would be using terrific great or splendid okay terrific great or splendid now if i have to say he is very good at presentation skills so instead of saying he is very good at presentation skills now i would say he is great at presentation skills or he's terrific he's splendid at presentation skills i would say that then and you can see this man he's actually terrific at his presentation skills because he nails all his presentations he has this attitude as you see with open arms he's like let it come i am the one <laughs> okay so he is a great or a splendid performer or presenter okay you can use it like this all right so let's move on to the next one the next one is very bent now see when it comes to very wet as you can see this man this man got wet in rain okay so when you get wet in rain you should be using these words soaked or drenched soaked or drenched so instead of saying my brother got very wet in the rain i would say my brother got soaked in the rain my brother got soaked in the rain or drenched in the rain okay start using it like just drop this very wet in the rain see how how it doesn't sound even good when you speak my brother got very wet in the rain. and in language i see more many of my learners who say oh this doesn't sound good this sounds good and that is correct okay many a time this happens but sometimes this would also happen something that doesn't sound good is correct also okay so it's a language don't don't mess with the language okay all right so very wet replacement is soaked here or you can also use drenched i got drenched in rain next is very weak so you see look at this man okay chalo let's assume let's say this is your friend and who was hospitalized for quite some time and now he's getting discharged from the hospital and you you went to see him the moment you see him coming you would say oh you look so weak you look very weak don't say this now you would say you look frail very weak you would say frail okay let's say you seem very weak no now you will say you seem frail okay use frail or you can also use feeble because feeble also means weak feeble also means weak so frail or feeble okay instead of very weak and the next one is very scary so for some of you this picture could be scary for some of you this could be funny okay some of you could think that this is scary but uh, for me this is actually scary okay all right so for very scary what is the one word and it is horrifying guys okay you can also say petrifying you can also say petrifying but horrifying is the exact replacement for very scary the movie we saw last week was very scary and i suppose this image is from some movie only some joker or some i suppose right you know what guys 
there is a word chlorophobia or chlorophobia chlorophobia is fear of jokers okay fear of jokers is known as chlorophobia so it just remind it just hit me looking at this picture so uh, we were talking about this let's look at the example the movie we saw last week was very scary instead of saying this we would say the movie we saw last week was horrifying okay it was horrifying now the next one we have is very good oh we did it we did it okay so for very good there we had terrific great and splendid here we have outstanding so this is another frame where you can use very good in instead of very good you can use outstanding that was a very good performance no that was an outstanding performance this would be a better way of saying it okay great splendid outstanding or terrific amazing also you can say okay fantastic you can use these words and the last one for the day is very crowded now very crowded as you can see this place or the street is very crowded how would we address it we would say it is packed or you can also say congested i could not drive smoothly because the street was very crowded i could not drive smoothly because the street was packed now you can yourself have the difference very crowded making it concise that's packed or congested the street was so congested i could not it was packed it was congested i could not drive properly i could not drive smoothly and you can see here right it is actually packed and congested so this is the whole this is the whole idea that i want you to know okay so these are the 10 frames i wanted you to know i want you to incorporate these in your day to day life so that you start speaking start working start using these words in your conversation and you feel confident from within that yes you know these words okay i will be seeing you soon with other sessions and something new to come up till then keep learning and growing and thank you so much.